today we are going to talk... Why my head's cool. <laughs> today we're going to talk about what we thought of Germany. Um, Germany. <laughs> so if you didn't already know, we went to Germany, to Hamburg. This was birthday. How old are you? 25. Oh, halfway to 50. Cool, we're to 100. <laughs> so, yeah, we went there on a Sunday and we went by bus and we spent four days there. We mm -hmm. stayed until Thursday. Mm -hmm. And yeah, if you want to see a vlog, check this up here. And then there's other one I'll put it up as well as I'll put it during this uh, video of Graves little segment of where we went but it should also be up my collage yeah yeah <laughs> so yes we I feel like I enjoyed Germany more than you did sad to say <laughs> it was my birthday yeah so I enjoyed what we did, the events we did, yeah. I just didn't enjoy Germany, the country. Mm -hmm. So, what was the thing that you least liked or most about Germany? The people. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Germans. <laughs> but I just felt that they're very ignorant and, like, they don't care about your personal space. And they, from our experience, they were very uh, serious as serious, well. Serious, yeah. Coming from Denmark, Denmark. <laughs> I feel like... We start off with like, the first time, when we first arrived, yeah. we had to go to the... The main, the train, main station. train station. We got to pick up our train tickets. Yeah, to go to... And we stood there for what? Five minutes? We weren't even standing there for five minutes. We, we were approached just by walked so up. many people. Yeah, we just walked up to the um, ticket, machine. ticket machine. And we just... Approached by so many people, like, oh, do you want to buy this off us? Do you want to buy this off us? Can you lend me some money? Yeah. No. I remember at that time as well, we didn't have any euros, we just had a yeah, car. Yeah. So it's not like we could if we wanted to, but we didn't want to anyway. Because yeah. it didn't look very clean. No, and when we said no, they didn't take it. As they no. didn't understand it as no. We, like, we said no, we shook our heads, we were going like that, and they just still persisted. Yeah, Speaking in it. German as well, we were like, we don't speak German. But some of them spoke in English. Yeah. And when we still said no, they still carried on. Yeah. Um, what was one thing that you enjoyed most about Germany? Um, quite a few things I liked. That's good. I mean, if it, I think if you take the Germans out of Germany, <laughs> it's a good country. <laughs> I'm going to get some hate now. Aren't I? Yeah. <laughs> Um, I liked the, like, just the architecture, mm -hmm. especially the places we went to. Yeah, we went to the St. Nikolai Tower. It was like a bombed cathedral during World War Two. You can still go up the tower. Yeah. Which I was flabbergasted by. <laughs> it just doesn't do so well with heights. Like <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, we went to the Chocolate Museum. Yes, that was really good. Yeah. And uh, the zoo. Mm-hmm. And around the city. Yeah. I feel like, so Hamburg is Germany's second biggest city. They've got around, say, around 2 million people living in it. And us coming straight from Denmark in Aarhus, which this is, is their biggest, Denmark's second, biggest, second biggest, city. biggest city, which is like only 300,000 people. Yeah. And Copenhagen, which is the capital city, only has 800,000 people. So... We've kind of got into the habit of feeling in a small, okay. yeah, space, and all of a sudden we're going to like Hamburg, and like, not neither one of us had never gone and never experienced it before because London's obviously bigger, but I've gone to London loads of times, mm -hmm. and I don't feel at all uneasy in London. Mm -hmm. It's I think it's because everyone speaks English and well, majority of people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I speak English and I kind of have an idea of where I'm going and what I'm doing, but yeah, yeah. Hamburg was a place that neither of us had been to before, so, so it's kind scary. of it was, yeah, it was really overwhelming. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was. <laughs> what was your favourite food from the trip? Uh, my favourite food, oh, I don't know what food do we have? 
Well, my favorite food was is no, no. My favorite food was the these little chocolates we got. They came in a box and they were white chocolate and they were like wafers. Remember them? No. What? They're like Ferrero Rocher wafer white chocolate biscuits. You have the milk chocolate ones. There's ten in a little box. Oh, I remember the box. <laughs> Oh, yeah, in the back of the apartment. Yes. Yeah. We got them from a supermarket. Yes. Oh, yes. Um, did you say Kinder ones? The they kind... weren't Kinder, they were Ferrero. The Ferrero. Oh, they were in like a. They were like yes. a wafer biscuit. Yes, thing. I remember now. Oh, oh, oh. It's because you said wafer biscuit and it's chocolate, right? Yeah. I said mine was white chocolate and yours was I thought you meant maybe like just the tip of the biscuit. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah they were nice, weren't they? <laughs> but you remember them. I don't remember them. Yeah, um, I thought you meant like meal. Oh, I just said food. So. Yeah, but I thought you meant meal. Okay. What was your favourite meal then? My favourite meal was probably that giant meatball thing I had. Oh, yeah. That was nice. Yeah. And it, it had, um, what was it? Mashed Mash. potato and yeah. something else in it. Gravy. It was, yeah, maybe. Caramelised onion. Caramelised onion as well. Because like, I've never had, I'm not a big king of mash. Yeah. I don't think I've ever had caramelised onion. That's a bit iffy. So I thought I can't have a burger because your mum will kill me. Because <laughs> I always have burgers. Yeah. But I'll try something new. I'm a bit iffy, and then my God, that was so <laughs> I cleared the plate. <laughs> my favourite meal was the apple strudel. <laughs> that was really nice. It had like custard as well, but it was yeah. like cold vanilla, yeah. creamy custard. I was a bit thing. iffy about that as well. I just don't like custard. Yeah. My best description of that is if you've ever had Devon Dream, which is made by the Ambrosia Custard, but it's like cream slash custard together, you can have it warm or cold. It tastes exactly like that. Mm. And also one of my other favourite meals was the burger we had in that restaurant. Restaurant? Restaurant. Because <laughs> we thought we were going to go to an Irish pub. Oh yeah, yeah. And so we walk past, and there's an Irish flag. Was like this must be. Yeah. It. So we all look in to and see what it looks look like from the inside, and then like we look in, and there's a woman there. Yeah. And she's like table for two. <laughs> it's like oh okay. Um, but that's a nice place. I like the um the interior of that. Yeah, that's really it's cool. It's all very wooden. Wooden. Yeah. There's like trees. Yeah. Yeah. But um, go to the other restaurant we went to where I had the massive meatball. Yes, it was like a beer garden. A beer garden. And the awkwardness at the end. Oh, like, So no. we're from the UK where you're not expected to tip. No. Well, you can if you want. Yeah, but they, they get a wage. They get a wage. So she comes up to us with the bill and she goes, how much do you want to pay? So I just assumed she meant maybe we were splitting it. Yes, yeah. Like, oh, I'll pay all of it. And she goes, she sort of pauses, us, doesn't she? Yeah, and she was like, do you want to just pay this? Um, yeah. Wow. And she goes, oh, um, no, um, no service. And then, like, she couldn't get the word out. And I was like, tip. She's like, oh, yes, tip. Tip? And Graham's like, um, no. She's like, but your meal was nice. You got really nice service. Tip? <laughs> no. <laughs> you get paid a wage. Yeah, and, I mean, for me, the apple strudel deserved a tip in my eyes. But my main meal was not tip worthy. Oh. I didn't like. I had Frank which was really nice, and then it all did look nice to be honest. <laughs> and then a Bavarian potato salad, but the potato salad was cold and vinegary, and I just didn't like that at all. So you could have tipped. <laughs> no, you deserve that. No, yeah. but I mean, for me, the whole meal isn't deserving of a tip if I didn't enjoy it. Yeah, and the looks we got off this waitress. Yeah. Just... She, I thought she was going to like body slam going across the room. You could tell like, as soon as we left, she went straight up to all of our Yeah, and just said, "Them English folk, they don't tip." But then also, like for me, I wouldn't know how much to tip someone because yeah, if you like say, you "I'll pay one euro," that might be really offensive, paying one euro. Yeah. But then at the same time, if I say, oh, "I'll pay five euro," then might be, "Oh, this is my lucky day." Yeah, yeah. I might be able to get them out some more money. Yeah. So. Yeah, tipping for me, unless if the restaurant, like, sometimes you can get, like, in UK restaurants, you could go to a restaurant, 
and it's, if you want to pay by card, you'll put your card in the card machine and it says service yeah. fee. And that yes. tells you how much yeah. a tip would be. Yeah. So then you can choose whether to tip or not to tip. It's not an ad with, like, a, you're obliged to tip, but at least then it tells you how much to tip. Yeah, and then I know in some English places, on the menu, it actually says right at the end, um, optional 10% ch- tip for service. Yeah. At least then, if it's on the menu, like, oh, okay, if I wanted to, I could. Yeah. Not just, as you're paying, yeah. would you like, a t- would like a, to tip us? Yeah, but I feel like it's just rude yeah. to ask to be tipped. This waitress was so pushy oh, yeah. us to give a tip. Yeah, I felt very awkward. Yeah. Whereas the burger restaurant we went to... Yeah, that was the only place. I mean, we went to um, a fast food place as well. Oh, Jim... Yeah. Jim... Jim... Jim Burgers? Jim something. That was weird as well, because they didn't even give us a drink. Yeah. Because <laughs> we ordered a drink and we didn't get one. Yeah. I mean, we didn't pay for it. No, we didn't pay for it, but it's weird. Um, yeah, we did, they didn't have a tip. That's the only place that asked for a tip. Yeah. Maybe because they were high-end, perhaps? Uh, I don't think they were. No, from the interior, it didn't feel high-end. No. I mean, excuse me. I mean... Maybe it explains why it's so empty. It was quite empty on the inside. To be fair, we didn't... It was a good day. We, it was really busy outside, and plus we kind of went outside of lunch and dinner time. But like, yeah, the inside, it was very... German, so the tables were long wooden tables on wooden seats, so it wasn't like the most comfortable seating yeah. either. Plus, we had like three different waitresses. Yeah. What if we really liked one? Yeah. And wanted to give the tip to that one, but we wouldn't know who would be getting the tip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was just kind of rude to ask for a tip. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what did you think of the zoo? So we went to Hamburg Zoo. Uh, I really like that zoo. I think that's probably the only zoo I've been in where every animal has been out. Oh, okay. I mean, I can't believe there was a point where we were looking for a polar bear on the oh, zoo yeah. map, and we already walked past it. We just completely missed it. Yeah. For me, I was in two minds whether I liked this zoo or didn't like this zoo. Okay. Because for me, in English zoos, it's all about conserving the animal, welfare for the animal, looking after the animal. But... We went to the elephant enclosure. Oh yeah. And this was the, the rest of the zoo was really cool, but the, for me the elephant enclosure felt very weird. So there's no cages in this zoo really. They're all done by moats, so the animals can't get out, which is nice. That's really cool. But these elephants would step over the little fence they've got around That's the moat. Wild, isn't it? Yeah, and they would reach out, like stretching their tongue, sort um, their That's trunks. Trunk, yeah. Sort of like standing on their back legs, kind like of, yeah. because they were reaching with their front legs yeah. over the moat. Yeah, and to get food off of other people. Yeah, and for me, it felt as if they might have done that all day, every day. So one elephant could be stretched and feeling that uncomfortable for the oh, whole yeah. day. Yeah. Whereas in UK zoo, so one zoo in particular, the Colchester Zoo, which there's a link up there for that video, but um. In Colchester Zoo, they have two feeding times of the elephants, and it's set, and they have one elephant or two elephants for one feeding time, and the other two elephants for the second feeding time. And it's food that the keepers give people to feed them with, so they know what's in the food. Yeah. And the elephants aren't expected to stretch. They come right up to the gate, and then you just put your hand out, and they take it with their trunk. And the keepers are there to make sure that the elephants aren't feeling stressed, that aren't getting like teased or anything. Yeah, yeah. Whereas in this zoo, I felt... The keepers just did. They, just yeah, they, they weren't really paying attention. And like, some people were like holding their hands up as if they had food in their hand, but they didn't. Yeah. So obviously that elephant is stretching to work to get nothing, nothing. in the end. So that was just one thing that I thought was a bit weird. Mm-hmm. That I, I didn't really like too much about that zoo, was the elephant. But I really like the rest of <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it was disappointing <clears throat> for you, I think, the giraffe bit, where there's, oh, not, there's a bit yeah. where you can walk up to like, these, like, what would you call it, a platform? It's like a viewing platform, yeah. Yeah, to, do, to like, maybe stroke the giraffe and maybe feed it. Yeah. 
And we would walk back to walk up there, and it's closed. Yeah, because the giraffes have had enough food for that day. But one giraffe followed us, yeah. and I was like, I just want to touch you. <laughs> um, I really like the penguin bit penguin, that they had. Yeah. That was really cool. Yeah. So uh, you kind of like walked in this like like room, and it was cold. cold. Like I've never been to a penguin enclosure where it's been cold. It's yeah. usually just been outside. Yeah. And like you walked through. And there was nothing between you and the penguins. The penguins were like all around yeah, you. Yeah, I mean, there is, um, there's like their own bit and then the walking bit. But yes. they can easily just jump off. Yes. And like your head, you'll be like right next to penguins standing there. Yeah. Which is cool. I was sort of um, at e unease because there was a lot of penguin poop everywhere. <laughs> they didn't. No. no. <laughs> That's good. Um, uh, they oh yeah oh. we also went through a snake bit so I think I found out what the word snake was in German a bit before Craven did because I can't even remember the word the word for snake is here is it by magic <laughs> and so we saw that word or I saw that word as we were constantly walking through this bit and I was like okay there's gonna be snakes in here but I'm not gonna tough grip so you ain't gonna walk through it otherwise and like literally it was snakes everywhere and Grey was like oh, oh. and it's like oh look at the tiny ones and then there was this giant snake and then Grey was like oh I'm each towards it oh oh, I like, oh I can't look at it oh okay I'm done I'm done you knew where all the snakes were like unlike Colchester Zoo they have snakes dotted around everywhere yeah, <laughs> yeah. Colchester sort it out but more and more place um, but I was going to say the um, like the aquarium part okay with the massive yeah. aquarium like you go into the normal uh, an average zoo with an aquarium where yeah. you, there's like a, uh, an underground you say an underground thing? like a tunnel like a tunnel yeah, yeah. maybe it's a few feet above your head. Yeah. But this one was like, how big would you say it was? Like double Laura. I was gonna say three of me standing three, on top yeah. of each other. It was huge. I do have a picture of it somewhere, but it's not very good. <laughs> you might want it, but, but is it? It's, it's massive. Huge. Um. Yeah. That's all I have to say about that. <laughs> and what do you think of the chocolate? Uh, I think she natted on a bit. I can see you was a bit bored. <laughs> well, not when we get to the chocolate. <laughs> but um, when, before we went there, we read up that he, at every stage you try a bit of chocolate. Yeah. And I thought that was just put in there to make people come. Because <laughs> that was a bit of like trick bait, yeah. like reading bait. But you do, you try chocolate at every stage. And, I like yeah. that. I like and that. you try it. Chocolate at every stage it's made as well. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. Oh, oh okay, I think you went at every different stage. Oh, you did that as well. But, um, yeah, so we tried a Natural cocoa bean. bean. Yeah. Like, people before us tried, like, only four people got yeah. to try it, but they actually tried, like, the pulp from the cocoa fruit. Which is like, I didn't like, <laughs> But, yeah, then we tried the cocoa bean, mm -hmm. but it was horrible. Um, then we tried it, like, a ground yeah, sugar yeah yeah like it was just cocoa grounded cocoa and sugar and so you could really taste the sugar because it's really grainy yeah. and, and then, then there's a bitter bit when she, when she goes all the americans will be used to this yeah <laughs> <laughs> it was like yeah this is not chocolate <laughs> and then there was a bit where it was being melted oh, yeah. And we get on wafers. We got to have one milk and one dark. We can have two of each. Oh, yeah. Uh, two of one. Uh, oh, and then we had like this powder. Oh this yeah, which I bought. Eight without sharing. Yeah, without sharing for me. Oh, it was <laughs> nice. <laughs> and then we had to make our own bar. Yes. So what did you put in your bar? I packed up my own bar. I know there's definitely coffee in it. Yeah. Coffee, crunched up. Nuts, I can't remember which nuts. I think it was walnuts. Walnuts. And something else. Chocolate, chocolate sprinkles. sprinkles. Which, I don't know why I put it in there, because you can't taste it. <laughs> what did you put in yours? Uh, I put coconut, white chocolate buttons, and amaretto biscuits. Oh, sure. They were really nice. 
But I think, though, like, so you're in this room and you get a little paper cup and yeah. you go up to the, like, they have a wall of, like... Containers? Yeah, of, like, different like toppings. Picnics. Yeah. And I think when I first went up, that everyone was up there, so I couldn't really see yeah. everything. So I was just like, right, I'll pick these three really quick. And then at the end, I was like, oh, I wish I'd put maybe this in instead of that. But I noticed there was a girl stood next to me. Because you have to stand up the whole way. Yeah. A girl stood next to me, maybe 13, 14. And she kept going back. Did she? Yeah. I was like, can I do that? <laughs> but hers were like proper. I think she had like different ingredients in every square. Oh, okay. So I thought, okay, it's kind of smart. But... <laughs> and then it was hectic putting your chocolate into the fridge. Yeah, because everyone was there. And like, you didn't want to spill and your chocolate. And then taking them out, the, the past groups out as you put yours in. Yeah. Which made it even worse. And then we like got to wrap them into like plastic and we got to name it. What was your name, Graham? Graham's Chalk. And what was the description of it? Don't let Nora get on it. <laughs> Whereas <laughs> mine was called Nora's Special. A pleasure for the senses. Like, I was giving it a <laughs> proper name. I didn't it. know. <laughs> Grove's shop. Don't get Laura again. Which I didn't. No, because I don't like coffee, so I wouldn't eat it. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, I got to the end and we went round the gift shop. Yeah. Which is one of the best gift shops going, in my opinion. <laughs> Although they didn't sell magnets. <laughs> um, there was a lot in that gift shop, wasn't there? Like yeah. everything you could think to be chocolate related. I got chocolate pasta and I tried it. <laughs> um, there's all different kind of flavour. You got chocolate insects. Yeah. Which I was tempted by, but they don't look like insects. <laughs> They're just squares and cubes. Yeah. So, would you want to go back to Germany again? If not, Maybe Germany, not would you like to go back to Hamburg again and then Germany? Yeah, so would you like to go back to Hamburg <coughs> first? Oh, no. No. Would you like to go back to Germany? Yeah. Okay. Or maybe yes for Hamburg, because now I know what to expect. Okay. But I really want to go back to the places we've already been. I'm not, I'm not kind of tourist. Oh, okay. <laughs> what, what about you? Uh, I think I'm glad I've done Hamburg. I won't be rushing back. To Hamburg, like I'll be rushing back to Rome, but I would like to go back to Germany, maybe mm. a small part of Germany. Yeah, I, I, I did enjoy it. Oh, I'm glad. It's a great birthday present, thank you. You're welcome. So, yeah, that was our thoughts on Germany. Let us know if you've been there or you live there. Yeah, and if we think our thoughts are completely wrong, <laughs> we just experienced the Bear in mind, we're only there for four days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We didn't experience the whole of Hamburg either. Yeah. Maybe you can recommend somewhere for us to go. Yeah. And pay for us as well. <laughs> so yeah, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give it a little like. Thumbs up. So I yeah. Love, I like it for you. Thanks. Because I'm in it. <laughs> so yeah, that was our thoughts on Germany. Ta-ra!